child of God in the waters of baptism. He died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. baptism, John put on Christ. In the day of Christ's coming, may he be clothed with glory. down by grief at the death of this young child, O God, grant that while we weep for him who at your bidding has departed this life so soon, we may have faith that he has gained an eternal home in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Elizabeth, look down. A reading. 
reading from Ecclesiastes. There is a given time for everything, a time for everything happening under heaven, a time for giving birth, a time for dying, a time for planting, a time for uprooting what has been planted, a time for healing, a time for knocking down, a time for building, a time for tears, a time for laughter, a time for mourning, a time for dancing, a time for throwing the stones away, a time for gathering them, a time for embracing, a time to refrain from embracing, a time for searching, a time for losing, a time for keeping, a time for discarding, a time for keeping silent, a time for speaking, a time for loving, a time for hating, a time for war, a time for peace. What do people gain from the efforts they make? I can tell you the time God gave to the sons of men. He made everything fitting in its time, but he also set eternity in their hearts while the man was able to embrace the work of God from the beginning to the end. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths. For his name's sake, and though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side, with your rod and your staff, that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. I invite Karen to proclaim the second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, 
bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that those who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with the word of command, with the voice of an archangel, with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds and meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Every year his parents used to go to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. And when Jesus was 12 years old, they made the journey as usual for the feast. When the days of the feast were over, they said, for home. The boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents were not aware of this, assuming that he was somewhere in the group of travelers. Then they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. But when they failed, they returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found where he was sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his intelligence and his answers. When they saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been searching for you with great anxiety. Jesus said to them, why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not comprehend what he said. Then he went with, down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother and father pondered all things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in age and in grace with God and men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. John, the beloved, was ten, and he was a member of this congregation and also of St. Rose. By his cousins, I heard that he was bright, articulate, the shining light of the room. When I was preparing these words for you, I didn't know a lot about him, so I asked the brothers, Luke and Cole, to help me and to try to define who he is. And they said, he's the one who always is there for, to protect and to defend me. He likes playing with us. He's a very loving person to everyone and also, he likes dogs. <laughs> Even he got one for his birthday. 
He's the best in soccer, lacrosse, surfing body, buckyboarder, and many other sports. He loves P.F. Chan, pizza, pies, and Raymond noodles. I don't know what is that, but. <laughs> Sometimes he's very annoying. <laughs> the two of them say that. <laughs> but he means well. He's there when needed. Sometimes he did bad things and was angry and talked back. But you know, Father, he's our brother and we love him. I know he's in heaven, but he's also with me, so when I am hurt, he can still defend me. I know he's leaving, leaving us, but he's in our souls. You know, Father, I cannot see him, but I know he's there and he can see us. When I asked who he loved the most, the answer was clear and loud, all of us. And as you notice, when I was talking with them two days ago, they never used the past. Everything was in present time. And I think that Luke and Cole have this beautiful idea that the brother is here, and that is what our Christian faith believes. This is what we believe. This is what we pass on. His parents, Robert and Kristen, have supported him through all his adventures. So he did the same as a protector, supporter, and guardian angel to Luke and Cole. He was loved, especially for his grandparents, Albert and Susan, Bill and Sandra, and his aunt Karen, and by his sisters, when I mean sisters are the cousins, they really treat him as a brother. They love, he was loved by his friends, classmates, team players, and many, many of you. Last week, John had to be admitted to the trauma unit where I work. He was covered with an incredible care, attention, and professionalism. I was called to minister the sacrament of the sick to him, and I was completely, completely surprised because at the moment when we were in, even though so many professionals were working, everything stopped. Just to allowing us to have that moment with the family, with John, and with God. When I finished, our prayers, the curtain moved, and I looked with great emotion how a great team of, of more than 30 people, healthcare workers, family members, were praying and hoping for the best. We share, all of us, our reassurance of hope and life. John's hospitalization lasted for six days. And those six days were one of the longest days on my ministry. His parents, relatives, and friends, hospital staff were always by his bedside. We played music for him, and he warmed up our hands. He listened to many I love yous every moment from many of you. And even if you were not there, he received all your thoughts, your prayers, and your good wishes. And I can assure you, he was and he is not alone. The gospel holds only one account of our Lord, the baby Jesus, Jesus Christ, as a boy. And it's a story of a time when Mary and Joseph, the parents of Jesus, suffered great distress and anxiety. While on his family's annual journey to Jerusalem, he stayed behind to talk with the teachers and masters of the law in the temple. Mary and Joseph could not couldn't find him. Even when they retraced their steps, even when they asked all the relatives if they have seen their son, when they did find him three days later, Mary asked him and pointed out this question, which Jesus answered with another two questions. Why were you searching for me? 
Did you not know I must be in my father's house? Life with Jesus must have been unusual and complicated. He was Joseph's son, and he would work with Joseph. Jesus was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, and was growing into the role of the Son of God. He may have some, many sons, louder than most children. He may have had a passion for helping others. He may have been an exceptional good listener. We know that he knew the scriptures well enough to discuss them with the teachers of the law. So many things, as you know, too, were exceptional about John. In one way or another, he touched your lives with his smile, his inspiration, by his words, with his company, or just because you were admiring his hair. <laughs> when he first began journey of learning, he went to tender care in Ocean Grove. He attended Char River, High, Char River Hills Elementary School, and then he moved to St. Ross Grammar School. I was very touched when last Tuesday, many of, the, of his friends were at the rising of the flag in honor of John, more than 200 people. They were, some of the people from St. Ross, they were wearing their uniforms, many of them sharing tears of joy and tears of sadness. For this hero, just imagine, he was 10 and he saved five lives. Like Jesus' parents, I am sure that Robert and Kristen, Kristen were full of questions. They never got to speak. They hungered for answers that they never came. They, they sat by John's bedside day and night, holding onto hope that became strained, then broke, leaving them awashed in their tears. I just want to mention in few words about John's life. And I know this because mom gave me two notebooks. <laughs> and he said, mom, I love your cooking and it's improving. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you play it and how you catch. And when I was born, you always help me to have fun, and that too. I know sometimes I fight, but you understand. Since I have been born, you have taken good care of me, and soon I will do it for you. Remember the time I was just me, mom, and dad? You were like my servants. <laughs> but on Mother's Day, I will be your servant, mom, mom, so better get ready for that Sunday. <laughs> I hope we can go to the big Christmas tree lighting in New York and to eat small pizza cookies. They taste great, especially with milk. Dad, I want to go to Boston to visit your friends. It will be a lot of fun. I have to tell you also something. I am a stranger to the family. I just met John a week ago. And probably I am the last person with a right to be here and to talk about him. But I am sure that you know him better and my intentions are well done. I have been able to be with Robert and Kristen and with Luke and Colt and his family. And one of the things that I always said is, you know, Good moments always bring us and gave us happiness and joy, and we can smile and laugh. But hard moments, hard moments, hardships, always give us a lesson. So what I learned from this is that when we are together, we can be stronger. This is an opportunity for me 
to be strong in my ministry and in my life and to know that I am able to do so many things with God's help. You know, sometimes I don't have words, but I receive the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you don't have to have words, but just silence and be present. Another part in John Snott's book said, I am always ready to help. I love a baking. I love Chinese food, especially when my mom is with me and I, I can eat this food forever. <laughs> I, loved, I love to do my chores and I got, and when I go to Duke's, Duke's lacrosse field, I love to be with them and they call me Rocket. I am very grateful for who I am. I am very helpful. I am very kind to people. I love eating, especially ice cream with my brother after surfing. Sometimes I can get really nervous, but I am positive and I am also loving running with my dad on the boardwalk. We have probably many questions. And when we have questions, sometimes we cannot find answers. Remember what Mary did to Jesus. He questioned him and he basically responded in a very and a wise and incredible way. Don't you know that I am doing my father's business? I am in my father's temple. There are no clear and simple answers to those questions of now. But we know one thing for real, our dear love, dear John, the beloved has died. God has promised that no matter how deep the pain, the pain we feel, we cannot move beyond the bounds of the sustaining love of God who raised Jesus Christ from the dead and who promised that nothing, no hardships, no distress, no peril, not even death can separate us from the love of God. Those of us who mourn today will not be left desolated, but will be strengthened by God's spirit and will know the love of Christ that surpasses all the acknowledged. There is a time for everything, a time to die, a time to mourn, and a time to heal. I, in the same way that Christian did, I want to share something with you. Look, uh, John have some, sometimes the passion to hide things. And we know that mothers are like the CIA. They found everything, <laughs> especially women. <laughs> so from the hidden and secret place, Christian found those two beautiful medals. From John, Lord, help me Remember that nothing is going to happen today that you can and cannot handle together. You and I cannot handle it together. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Robert, Kristen, Luke, and Colt, you have the assurance of our support. You have the love, the company of the church, society, and our community. You have the encouragement of our prayers, but we are sure of one thing, your faith now is stronger than never, ever before. And the memory of this boy and the vision of this boy will be with you in mind, body, and soul. And remember, the purpose of his heart today is for you to know and to experience the love of God. It is a time for John to rest in the hands of a loving and merciful God. And we know that for the children of God, there is a time for life, death, and life beyond the dead. God is with us. We are not alone, thanks be to God, and may God bless you 
and may his grace surround you in all that you do in his name. As we continue to pray, I invite Anita and Lisa to lead us in the universal prayer. Let us pray for John, his family, friends, and for all people. For John Robert, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the holy innocents and all the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For our dear John, who are the body of Christ, bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For our family and our friends, of our brother John, that he may be consoled in our grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, and the company of many who have been supporting us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, we will be gathered together again in God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who were involved with John's care, that the Lord may continue helping to heal others. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the beloved departed, especially we pray for Uncle John, Joseph, Pauline, and those joining now in new eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you entrusted John to our care, and now you embrace him in your love. Take John into your keeping, together with all children who have died. Comfort us, your sorrowing servants, who seek to do your will and to know your saving peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. I invite members of the family to bring up the offertory gifts.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice at yours be acceptable to the best of my mind. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand. Let us lower it with the hands of our heart and of all the Holy Spirit. Sanctify these offerings, we pray you, O Lord, that the parents who now entrust to you the child you gave to them may come to embrace him with joy in your kingdom, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through who Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory 
as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who were nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may attain inheritance to your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, your spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with the holy innocents, and with all the saints who have constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. 
Remember your servant, our little brother John, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will rise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the vision of your glory, when you will wipe sleep away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. in faith, let us pray together to our Father in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace and the consolation of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer you to one another the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
come to you in the silence. I will lift you from all your fear. You will hear my voice. I claim you as my choice. Be still and know I am here. I am hope for all who are hopeless. I am eyes for all who long to see. In the shadows of the night, I will be your light. Come and rest in me. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me, I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. I am strength for all the despairing, healing for the ones who dwell in shame. All the blind will see, the lame will all run free, and all will know my name. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me. I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. I am the word that leads all to freedom. I am the peace the world cannot give. I will call your name, embracing all your pain. Stand up now, walk and live. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me. I will bring you home. I love you and you are Go 
eagle's wings bear you on the breath of dawn make you to shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand you need not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day though thousands fall about you near you it shall not come and he will raise you up on eagle's wings bear you on the breath of dawn make you to shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand for to his angels he's giving a command to guard you in all of your ways upon their hands they will bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone and he will raise you up on eagle's wings bear you on the breath of dawn make you to shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand and hold you hold you in the palm of his Let us pray. Having received the communion of your Son's body and blood, O Lord, we ask you faithfully to comfort amid the sorrows of this life those whom you have graciously nourished by these sacred mysteries, so as to strengthen their hope of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, Robert and Kristen would like to offer some words of remembrance. Please be seated.
uh, no, nobody prepares for anybody. <laughs> Our hearts are broken. We've lost a student, classmate, neighbor, teammate, best friend, surfing buddy, nephew, grandson, brother, and son. Despite only being 10 years old, John was wise beyond his years. His maturity to comprehend hardship of our family's challenges and his own battles with those uncertainties were instead replaced by his loyalty to his friends, his care for his brothers Luke and Cole. John's endless love for his family and friends was astonishing. A true heart of gold. He channeled that energy and fierce spirit to be best at everything that he did. He used that positivity to continuously help and think of others. Whether it be physically helping Luke with day-to-day -day activities or practicing with Cole every morning before and after school for that perfect move or that perfect goal. His fierce and effortless nature enabled him to conquer his own personal triumphs and inspire others to follow suit while always flashing that electric smile and letting you know he loved every minute doing it. Aside from his athleticism and obsession with any sport, he was humorous and loved to be, cre he was to be creative artistically, to put, pri put pride in pushing himself academically in his studies. In our op opinion, he was a natural born achiever. His kindness and enjoyment of life was contagious. He loved to cuddle on the couch, watching movies on weekends, to savoring those special moments with his friends, either in the mountains carving turns or catching those epic, epic waves. Those were his passions. It's hard to comprehend the course of life and how unfair and unpredictable it is. But be assured, John's will and purpose is much bigger and outweighs any of our despair. It's grief. We must grieve and celebrate together in John's memory and have his legacy be one of healing together as one big extended community. We honestly believe in John's last hour, he gave a lifetime gift by helping to save five other lives, including a 10-year-old boy who now has a part of his heart. Johnny's a true hero. Life has taught us that we are not always in control. Life is full of experiences, lessons, heartbreak, and pain but has also shown us love, beauty, possibility, and new beginnings. Embrace it all. It makes us who we are, and after every storm comes a clear sky. Take something from this tragedy, live life on full throttle, but be aware of your surroundings and consequences. Always live life as if it were your last, Stay involved, open your hearts, meet new people, and when you are nervous or scared and don't know what to say, just smile or give a hug, just like Johnny would do. Look for his signs. They may be at times inappropriate, <laughs> even downright silly. Trust me, I have a huge pimple on my face. <laughs> But, with, but it will be filled with his love to remind us that he's always here. 
We're a family and a community in pain. But if we stick together, taking it minute by minute, day by day, along with prayer, we will find the strength to heal together. On behalf of our entire family, we thank you for sharing John's life. May we remember all the good times, relish every precious moment, and memory. Johnny may be gone from this earth, but he will never be forgotten. Let us celebrate in all things that we do, and when things get hard in any area of life, or you need a lift to get you through, think about that Johnny beast mode attitude <laughs> to push you through. Johnny's an inspiration for us all, and will always be in our hearts. All you need to do is reach out and talk to him. John Robert, John Robert, Johnny Rockets, Johnny Boy, John John JG, Johnny Cool, Johnny Handsome, our love, our heart, our soul, our sunshine. You'll never be forgotten, Miss Forever. May your strength help us move forward until we meet again in eternity. Thank you, Rob and Chris, for those beautiful words from the heart. We all love you. God, in his wisdom, knows the span of our days. He has chosen to call to himself this child, John, whom he adopted as his own in baptism. The body we must now bury will one day rise again to a new and radiant life that will never end. Our firm belief is that John, because he was baptized, has already entered this new life. Our firm hope is that we shall do the same. Let us ask God to comfort his family and friends and to increase our desire for the joys of heaven. Yeah. 
You are the author and sustainer of our lives, O God. You are our final home. We commend to you this beautiful child, John. In baptism, he began his journey towards you. Take him now to yourself and give him the life promised to those born again of water and the Spirit. Turn also to us who have suffered this loss. Strengthen the bonds of this family in our community. Confirm us in faith, in hope, and in love, so that we may bear your peace to one another and one day stand together with all the saints who praise you for your saving help. We ask this in the name of your Son, whom you raised from the dead, Jesus Christ, our Lord. In peace, let us take John to his final resting place. Who can say for certain, maybe you're still here. I feel you all around me, your memory is so clear. Deep in the stillness, I can hear you speak. You're still an inspiration, can it be that you are my forever love and you are watching over me from up above fly me up to where you are beyond the distant star i wish upon tonight to see you smile if only for a while to know you're there a breath away is not far to where you are are you gently sleeping here inside my dream and is in faith believing all power can't be seen as my heart holds you just one beat away i'll cherish all you gave me every day but you are my forever love and you are watching over me from up above. Fly. Is that wrong part? It's okay. Fly me up to where you are beyond the distant star. I wish upon tonight to see you smile If only for a while to know you're there A breath away is not far to where you are I know you're there A breath away is not far to where you gently sleeping here inside my dream and is in faith believing all power can't be seen as my heart holds you just one beat away 
I cherish all you gave me every day Cause you are my forever love Watching me from up above And I believe that angels breathe and that love will live on and never leave fly me up to where you are beyond the distant star i wish upon tonight to see you smile if only for a while to know you're there a breath away is not far to where you are. No, you're there. A breath away is not far to where you are.